Book. Book. Its leaves flutter. They thrive or wither. Its outspread signatures like wings open to form the gutter. The pages riffling brush my fingertips with their edges, whispering erotic touch this hand knows from ages back. What progress we have made, they are burning my books, not me, as once they would have done, said Freud in 1933. A little later, the laugh was on him, on the Jews, on his sisters, oh, people of the book, wanderers, underus. When we've wandered all our ways, wrote Walter Raleigh, time shuts up the story of our days. Raleigh, beheaded, his life like a book. The sound, book, book. Lips, then palate, outward plosive to interior stop. Book, book. The beech tree, pale wood incised with Germanic runes. Enchanted wood, glyphs and characters between boards. The reader's dread of finishing a book, that loss of a world and also the reader's dread of beginning a book, becoming hostage to a new world, to some spirit or spirits unknown. Look, what thy mind cannot contain, you can commit to these waste blanks, the jacket ripped, the spine cracked, still it arouses me, torn crippled god like Loki the schemer, as the book of Lancelot arouses Paolo and Francesca, who cling together even in hell. O oh, passionate, so we read. Love that turns or torments or comforts me. Love of the need of love, need for love. Columns of characters that sting sometimes deeper than any music or movie or picture. Deeper sometimes even than one body touching another body. And the passion to make a book. Passion of the writer smelling glue and ink sensuous. The writer's dread of making another tombstone, my marker orderly in its place in the stacks. Or to infiltrate and inhabit another soul as a splinter of spirit pressed between pages like a wildflower, odorless, brittle.